with the European Union's focus on the climate action and the EU Green Deal, Commissioner for Environment, Oceans and Fisheries, Virginius Sinkevichus, is launching a new global coalition for biodiversity at the World Wildlife Day in Monaco. To discuss this latest measure and the future plans, the Commissioner joins me now on the global conversation on Euronews. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit more about the Global Coalition for Biodiversity and what is its role when it comes to the bigger EU environmental agenda? I think we have achieved terrific success in the past years launching similar campaign on marine litter, on plastic pollution in our oceans. Now, having this year being devoted for biodiversity, it's time to raise awareness about biodiversity loss. Science is very clear. Out of 8 million species, which are assessed, one million at extinction. We have to halt biodiversity loss caused by the human activities. Best tool to do so is society, which is mobilized, which supports certain decisions, which leads us to meeting, hopefully in October in Kuming, to reach a global agreement equal to Paris Agreement, which was reached in 2016. And latest Eurobarometer shows us 94% of European care about the environment protection. It's a clear signal for politicians to act. And I'm truly proud that European Commission did so from the very first days, uh, being in the office, introducing our flagship initiative, European Green Deal. With the big social movement over the past year, including Fridays for Future, there has been big focus on the climate change crisis. Should there be a change towards biodiversity? To be honest, we don't need to change the focus. Climate change is important and significant to know. And I'm truly happy that we finally reached the point where you ask people on the street and they will explain you uh, climate change. I think we have to do the same great work raising awareness about the biodiversity. Because if you look at the solution uh, of stopping climate change and global warming, one third of the solution is exactly in a healthy ecosystem of biodiversity. Healthy oceans, seas, uh, land, forests, this all what surrounds us is biodiversity. And of course those species which not only makes uh, our nature alive, but also brings food on our table. The European Union has clearly put the Green Deal on top of its agenda. Where is this blue element on the bigger Green Deal picture? That's correct. Part of my work is to make Green Deal also blue. By protecting uh, biodiversity, we cannot speak only about species uh, or protection of land, soil or forest. We also have to address oceans. That's why this year is going to be crucial, important to reach also a global agreement on protection of the high seas, uh, which again, today, at the moment, are still being not fully implemented the protection which it deserves. The EU budget talks or the MFF talks are on amid the pressure for more climate action. What are your expectations and what are your priorities that you want to see on the MFF? First of all, probably the Commission would like to see agreement. Uh, we cannot afford delay and that would be probably the worst outcome. Secondly, of course, if we really serious to step up effort on biodiversity protection, on Green Deal, it has to be sufficiently funded. Uh, I'm glad to see uh, that this call, that call has been heard, but most important, importantly is the second part, is subsidies. Subsidies payments which go directly from uh, the EU budget different envelopes, they also have to be in line with the Green Deal and they cannot, uh, you know, enhance biodiversity loss or uh, stimulate uh, climate change. We have to be sure that certain activities uh, doesn't cause uh, environmental loss because it would be probably very strange with, uh, if with one hand we would increase funding uh, for biodiversity uh, protection but with the other hand we would be funding certain activities which causes uh, biodiversity loss. You've touched upon the challenges and the important things to do this year, and I have to bring that up. How about the Brexit situation when it comes to fisheries? Because this is one of the big challenges for the EU and for you as well for this year. 
negotiations just start. Uh, we are ready to talk. And I think if we're going to have a dialogue where we're ready to meet each other, uh, we're going to have a result which is satisfying to all, but most importantly is really to come with the willingness to find an agreement. Fisheries agreement is the only time bound. It's very short time. Uh, let's begin. We are ready. I know that the uh, British side as well. Uh, we will work tirelessly to find the best agreement. As a former Minister for Economy and Innovation of Lithuania, how would that experience influence now your job as the EU Commissioner for Environment, Oceans and Fisheries? One of the key initiatives which uh, we are already going to uh, announce on March 11 is Circular Economy Action Plan. It has uh, various actions from product policy to right to repair for EU citizens to actually business SMEs involvement in and playing a sufficient role in halting biodiversity loss. Because if we are successful in implementing circular economy and changing current economical activities, if we manage decouple growth from the extraction of resources, we can be very successful at halting biodiversity loss. Because biodiversity loss cost mainly due to uh, extraction of resources which puts enormous pressure on our environment. And then there is this aspect of transition as well when it comes to the to these new policies. What's your take on that? It's very important and from the very beginning Commission was vocal that nobody can left behind. It's important to mention that the Green Deal is a growth strategy and growth means not to hold the ambition but also help those who are still not yet there. And I think Green Deal can be only successful by having everyone on board. And the final question, I have to ask you this. You are the youngest commissioner. How would that influence, if so, your policies? I'm very open uh, to communicate uh, with everyone, with every European citizen who cares. And I think my role is to raise awareness and to deliver. Thank you very much for this interview. Thank you. Virginia Sinkevich is EU Commissioner for Environment, Oceans and Fisheries on the Global Conversation on Euronews.